hello and welcome back to my youtube channel um this video we're gonna talk about some useful iphone tips and tricks so without any further delay let's right get into it okay the first tip um is about the screenshots that we normally use in our day-to-day -day life so i'm gonna go ahead and take a quick um take a screenshot once you take a screenshot i'm gonna click on that i'm gonna click on this plus icon here click on the magnifier and select the area i want to bring someone's attention to you can also um increase the highlighted area or magnified area and then you can also increase the opacity on this once it's done you can click on done and click copy and delete and in that way the screenshot doesn't um, pile up to your photos gallery and after that you can just go to whatsapp and send it to any contact you want and click on paste so and that way you're done Okay, the second useful trick um, or a tip is a keyboard shortcut in an iPhone. So we often have trouble uh, typing in a long phrase. Uh, it is either because the phrase is too long and we don't remember at the back of our head. So the good way is to create a keyboard shortcut for it. So um, let's say um, I'm going to type in my text ID. I don't remember it. So because I have that saved as a keyboard shortcut, uh, it will eventually pop up in the in this field here so i'm going to click and it's going to send so let's say in my e any specific email it's going to repeat the same thing address i've got this address here so the best way and the the um is is to get that set up so so you go to text replacement you go here and then you select text replacement so you can see that i've got these set up um so you can create uh click on the plus icon click on the phrase let's say it's another account number um so account number so just make sure there's no space within that and just type in your account i'm gonna randomly add that so that's my account number and then you click on save so it's gonna save that and when you go back to the chat here and you click on the short on the shortcut for that it's gonna appear here so that's the keyboard shortcut next is you can take a screenshot of the entire web page and share this as a pdf document so come to this web page um, i'm going to take a screenshot and i'm going to select the screenshot you'll see there will be two options screen and full page so i'm going to select on full page after that you'll see there's an option you where you can scroll down and see that it's the entire web page um once you confirm that you can select on the share icon on the top right um and then you can confirm that it's a pdf document you can uh, save it uh, to your files in the icloud or you can share it to your among your contacts next is to convert your keyboard into a um, trackpad this often comes in hand when you're trying to get the cursor between letters in a word and uh, this is really helpful when you're trying to navigate between uh, lines of text so for example um, you need to yes, uh, convert the keyboard into a trackpad first of all you need to click on the space bar um, and then you can so you can see that it has been converted and you can navigate to different lines or letters as you want and get the cursor right where you want this is really easy um, and helpful because it is often very tough to get the cursor uh, where you want in words on an iPhone so you can use this um, as, a, as a shortcut and get your help with it now this one is really cool so in this you can see I'm in the YouTube ad and a, a application and I can't um, get out of this I can't do anything except for watch uh, a video this is really helpful when you're sharing your phone with a colleague um, a friend or especially a baby and you just want them to have access to a certain application um, and the only way to get out of this is by triple tapping the button and then putting in the password only you know and after that only you can end the guarded access and that's what it is called so i'm going to end this and only then you can get out of this so to set this up you need to go into accessibility and then you need to go into guided access and then you can need to turn this on and then set in a passcode for this uh, so this is really helpful uh, like i mentioned when you're sharing it uh, to a specific person and you just want them to have access to a certain um, area or a certain application